Hi, I'm Teresa with Potomac Beads. Join me today in making my frozen branch Christmas decoration made using St. Petersburg stitch, seed beads and pearls. Get the beads and let's start working. For this Christmas uh, ornament we will need to make six of these, I call them branches, they even look little like a branch. So I have already made five and we will work on the sixth one. So this is St. Uh, Petersburg stitch and we will be using 3mm pearls, Miyuki 11 holes and Miyuki 15 holes. I'll be working with a Miyuki thread and size uh, 10 needle, you can also use size 12. So this stitch is made first you first create the first half along the whole length and then you create the other one. So we will work first on the first side and we will be starting with the 11 0 beads. So first I have one meter piece, uh, one meter long piece of thread in my needle and I'm putting on one 11 0. Uh, go through this 11 0 which is like 10 on 15 centimeters away from the tail. Go through it once again to create like a stop bead, but we will use this bead and the thread. Since I'm using the same color, it won't be uh, visible. Now put four more and slide them down, and then Skip the first one here and go through the second and third bead and pull. So you should now have something like this. Now pick one 15 seed bead and go back through these three 11 0s. Now this is the basic part and now we need to pick the three millimeter pearl and go up through these two outside 11 o's and that's it now it will be repetitive and it will repeat like this all the time so you will add four 11 o's slide them down Now skip these last two, that's like the best way to remember it. Skip these last two, arrange the beads. So you have the two outside, pick one 15 -0. and now instead of just two you will go like in the beginning through three seed beads. Not through the fourth one but only through the third. Pull. And now pick the pearl again and go up through here. And like this I will add 17 pearls in total for my Christmas bauble. So I'm now adding again, it's repetitive, so 4 seed beads for 11 o's, 1 15 o going back through the seed beads the thread is coming from only through three of them one pearl and up so as i said for my bobble which is five uh, five point five centimeter across like this i mean just in the middle so around it has 17 uh, point uh, uh, like 17.3 centimeters S but it doesn't really matter you can use any size you need you just want to uh, make sure it covers it from like the top to almost the bottom so we can easily connect them at the bottom and also at the top so for my 5.5 centimeter bobble I will need 17 of the pearls and I will continue like this until I have 17 of those 
and then we will create the other side. So I have my 17 pearls here ready. I also not, uh, knotted off my thread and cut it off and now you can either use the same thread if it if it is long enough so one meter uh, is like the comfortable length or you can start a new one and we'll be working on the other side the beginning is the same so I will put one 11 on and slide it down and I will leave a tail so if the first tail you have there is short keep a longer one because we will use it on this side so make sure that at least one of the tails has like 15 centimeters so you can comfortably go once or twice through some beads here at the end then go once more through this bead to lock it at its place then pick four more like we did before slide it down skip these last two or this first one depending on how you want to look at it and go through this two and slide it down to the first one then pick again 150 oh, and go through these three beads and now we should add a pearl, but we already have the pearl on this half. So you need to take it into your hand, arrange the beads so that all the 15 O's are pointing in one direction and you will be creating a V shape and go through the first pearl, basically from the bottom up facing the other pearls you already have in there slide the beads close to the pearl and go from bottom up through the two elevenos in here it's the same but we are using the pearl that is already in there and like this continue so again add four eleven o's slide them down skip these last two and go through this first two of them then pick one fifteen o and go through three out of these four we have here and instead of adding a new pearl go from bottom to the top let's say for me the end is the top and then again through these two 11 o's and continue like this until you used all of the 17 pearls then we will fix the ends and continue creating the Christmas ornament when you reach the end we need to add this pearl here which will uh, which we will use later to connect all the ends together on one side so my thread is coming out of these two 11 O's and now I am picking 115 O a pearl 15 O again and then I'm going through the two 11 O's on the other side and now I would like to strengthen this little connection and to make that I would like to get to the other side and I will pick 150 O and go from bottom to the top again through the two 11 O's which I started from and now I can easily get again through the three uh, through the three beads I edit and once more through this little bridge here now I can nod off 
the thread so I'm making a loop going through the loop two times pull and going away from the knot through beads and that's it on the other side I can cut the thread and now I will move over to the starting point and take the longer tail you have here and thread it into your needle and we will add a bead here on this side too so here at this at this beginning side put on the longer uh, thread 1110 sorry 1150 one pearl and 1150 like on the other side and go here through these three eleven o's, like all of them and to strengthen again this little bridge I need to get to the other side here on this side it's a bit trickier we won't be adding any third 15 o, but I'm now going back through these two 11 o's, and I'm getting to the other side going through only two out of these four 11 o's and up through the three and then finally once more through the beads I just added and then out of the thread so I'm going somewhere where I can comfortably pick thread between beads, making loop, pull, going away from the knot and cut. With the other end just uh, make a knot somewhere, cut it as well and then we are ready to put all the branches together on the snowball decoration so as I said I uh, I have six of these so make five more copies every time with the 17 pearls at uh, like in total with the St. Petersburg and then we are adding two more here at the end so in total you have 19 pearls on each of those branches. If you have a smaller or larger uh, Christmas bubble you need to change the numbering but it's very easy to just make it longer or shorter. <laughs> Depends on the size. And now for the top part. So first what we want to do is to connect all the strips here at the top. So for me it worked out like this but I will tell you the numbers and counts but it might happen that your bobble has the top smaller or larger so you might need to adjust the numberings a bit so like adding more seed beads less seed beads but it's so easy that you should be definitely able to figure it out so for me let me just quickly measure this top so we know precisely so my top has 1.7 million uh, centi seven centimeters so 17 millimeters for this i am using a piece of thread it can be shorter like 60 centimeters so some leftover you had from the bottom for f or from the stri stripes and i started by threading 115 111 one pearl 110 and 15 and after that I put on the pearl and the stripe so I repeated this so now I have on extra one two three four five six pearls of course because we have six stripes and all the stripes as well and now I need to make it into a circle so what I want to do is here I have the tail part keep it a bit longer for me to like hold it and it's easier and now I want to go through this other side at least through these beads and now I want to 
put it on the bobble and now I will see if it fits and since I tested it it fits and now I will go with my needle through the rest of the pearls and the beads between them holding the other end I don't prefer to tie a knot here so it will be a bit slippery and it will move and stuff like that but it's easier than for me to then to tie the knot honestly so I'm going through the beads strengthening the circle and then I will tie a knot I would recommend going at least three times in total because this is the point where the beads will be hanging from and you never know what might happen so I really want this to be strong and firm so I'm going for the second time now and then I will go through a third time and make a knot in the end uh, cutting the ends and then we'll move to the bottom so I am here at the bottom part and I am again using another piece of thread the same length like at the top and for my bobble for the size of my bobble and the number of beads I used here I tested it and I can use exactly the same number of beads like I used here at the top so I'm, I put on my thread again the sequence of 15-0, 11-0, pearl, 11-0 and 15-0 again then I put on the glass pearl from the strip and then I repeated it uh, five more times and all you want from your stripes and from the bubble cover is that the stripes are leaning are closely leaning on the bubble so there are no gaps here between which means that the stripes won't be vigorously moving to the sides they won't be like this which is also no pre not pretty so if you need to adjust like adding more beads or less beads to make sure that the stripes are super close to the bobble do so definitely for me it worked like this again I have a bobble which has 5.5 centimeters right here in the middle across and now to make it easier this time so the second way is to tie it immediately so let's do it to make uh, to show it to you so I'm tying three knots immediately it's a bit tricky as you can see that's why I went with the needle first you can also put it the bubble into some um, glass or something which will help you to hold it now it's a bit tricky so I will probably do it off screen <laughs> but the idea is to tie a knot into a circle and then I will again strengthen the, the whole piece going once more through the whole circle and then cut off the thread and probably also tie another knot so I will not the circle and then I will show you the final result okay and I'm um, finally I managed to tie a knot so I'm, I'm making a third one like this and I'm taking my needle and just to make sure I will again go through all the beads here in the circle and then I will go down to one of those stripes and tie a knot in there and cut off the thread which means that after also hiding the tail the bobble should be finished so it is super easy to actually adjust this to the size of bobble you are using so don't forget that you can simply just change the number of pearls I totally guessed it here 
I just made a stripe and thought like I will put it here and connect it here. So let's let's do that. So let's use this number. So it's totally easy to adjust it to your need and to your uh, decoration. So don't be afraid if you don't have the 5.5 centimeter uh, bobble. It can be totally put on anything you have. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger and make a whole collection. And with cutting the tail of the thread, the bobble is finished. So for this we needed only 15 nose, 3 millimeter pearls and 11 nose seed beads. Then you need the bobble of your size of your preference actually and that's it so thank you very much for watching if you need any of the materials you can head into the description for the links if you finish your piece you can post the picture into our facebook group for beading and jewelry making we'll be super happy to see those thank you very much and see you in some other tutorial in our potomac beads channel